Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day students. Welcome back to my BDA 20303 Mechanic of Machine FOC classes. Today we'll go through a few questions pertaining to the belt drive uh, system. So we'll look into the question. The question uh, that is a belt draft system consists of two parallel V belt. So there is a two two unit of belt wrapped around two pulleys. The pulleys is uh, within the same diameter, four hundred and eighty mm. The input pulley uh, pulley A is uh, five hundred and sixty rpm within the coefficient of friction zero point one five. The groove angle stated as uh, sixty degree. Maximum tension is given as 5850 kN per meter squared. This is in pressure unit. You have to remember this. This is in pressure unit. The cross sectional area of the belt is given as 60. Density also given. The only thing is there is a slip at the pulley B, the output pulley. So the RPM has been reduced from 560 to 510. So you need to answer all those uh, questions below mm. what is the tension distributed by the centrifugal force what is the maximum tension and then power transmitted power received by pulley b and of course the efficiency of the bed drive system okay guys this is the uh, typical uh, bed drive system arrangement at uh, somewhere in industry so this is an electric motor over here attached with a pulley the input pulley connected to pulley, pulley B using uh, a belting but in this case in this picture it shows that uh, there is a four four unit of belt but in our cases in our problem there is only two belt never mind it's only an example only so the pulley B is uh, connected to one shaft and then also uh, connected to bearing this is a bearing pillow block bearing inside this yellow color is only a, a cover and then drive the uh, this is a centrifugal fan somewhere uh, it's probably it's probably the suction fan or blower fan over here so when it's run when it's run uh, clockwise so probably this one is uh, on the tension side this one is on the slack side uh, to simplify the diagram so this is a uh, driver a this is driven b so the the diameter is four eight zero, and then five six zero RPM coefficient of friction is given as zero point one five. If we if we look from the side view of the pulley, it's uh, we can see that there is a double groove, double groove pulley over here. So the groove angle is uh, sixty degrees. So this is for belt one. This is for belt two. Since the question is. Uh, uh, asking about a uh, two parallel belt, two unit of belt. T max is given in pressure unit as a five eight five zero. Of course, if because of the density, is uh, we need to consider the density. So T one, we we consider T one as a maximum uh, maximum tension in the system. So the cross sectional area and the density also given. It stated that the RPM of pulley B has been reduced because of the slip from 560 to 510. So the first question is asking about tension distributed by centrifugal force for one belt. So what is the centrifugal force created by the belt when it moves around the pulley when the pulley is moved at 560 rpm at pulley A. So this is the the formula rho A V squared the uh, centrifugal tension. What is rho given as 1 to 2 ohm? This is the cross sectional area. Velocity at A we can get it from V equal to R omega. The R is actually the radius of the pulley A while this this is a uh, angular velocity we get we we convert we convert from 
uh, RPM into angular velocity by using this formula so this is actually 560 when you put in all the data you'll get the velocity of the uh, belt is 14.074 so just put in what, whatever you get the row A and V into this equation and you get the TC is equal to 159.49 so the centrifugal force is 159.49 the next question is asking about the maximum tension so you know that the maximum tension is given in pressure unit so you need to convert the pressure unit using this basic formula P equal to FA so F equal to PA and again A is the cross section of the belt so P and then you get the so this is the maximum tension of the belt in Newton in Newton in Newton unit the third question is asking about power transmitted by driver pulley uh, for one unit of belt the power at driver A this is the basic formula of power P equal to uh, uh, T tension times uh, uh, velocity actually this is the the so-called um, T T T minus T S. The effective yeah, effective tension, effective tension of at at this uh, pulley. So we know that T T T T formula is this one T T exponent, blah blah blah, and then T one because there is a centrifugal effect. T one is equal to T T plus T C when you reformulate back this uh, formula and put it into this uh, general equation of power you will uh, have something formula like this okay where the v now is for uh, va i put it a va because we are dealing with power a so v we are referring to a all of the uh, this one is referring to a uh, just putting back all the data uh, t1 tc uh, this one is what this one is the coefficient of friction this is angle of contact angle of contact uh, is 180 degree but we must put it we must put it in a uh, radian why 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 uh, 180 degree because the uh, diameter of pulley is the same and then uh, divided by sine 60 divided by 2 this is the uh, groove angle of the pulley itself times the uh, this is the velocity uh, velocity of a just now so you got uh, the power at a for one unit of belt for one unit of belt is equal to 31.795 kilowatt so when we are dealing with two belt just now so you just times two this figure 31.795 kilowatt you just times two so what you got now is a double the power become double because of we are using two belt the next question is asking about the power received by the driven at pulley b so we need to consider the uh, slip we need to consider the new velocity at the driver at driven B at pulley B. So this is the value that we need to use 510 RPM. Again, power received for one unit of belt are using the same formula except the power is for B and then the velocity is referring to the pulley B. So just plug in all the oh sorry uh, we need to get the velocity at b r is referring to the radius of b omega we are using the 510 because we are dealing with pulley b when you got this one the velocity you just put in the values 
in this formula and then you get 28.958 kilowatt but this is for one unit of bell if two unit of bell so you need to times two again the power will be double up so the power at b is 59.57.916 kilowatt the next question is asking about the efficiency of the drive system so efficiency as normal is power out per power in then we put in all the figures we got the efficiency is equal to 91.06 okay guys that's all for now until we meet up again have a nice day and goodbye Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.